Shadowwood is a third-person survival horror online multiplayer game built for VR and a standard monitor. Explore the world, solve puzzles, and fight off monsters with cel-shaded voxel style. Welcome back to Shadowwood, guys. If you've been following the devlog since the beginning or for a while now, you are going to notice a little bit of a change to the format here. Uh, in the past, I've, I've just been kind of going day by day, recording and then editing as I go, um, but I'm feeling like that's not probably the most productive way uh, to do it. So uh, instead, what I'm going to be doing, at least for the time being, and you guys can let me know in the comments if you like it better or want me to go back or whatever, but I'm going to just kind of do a, a recap of what I've been working on since the last devlog. So again, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been working in the test build map, and I've been doing all my work in there and testing things out, and the two test builds that I released all used that uh, test build map. The ultimate plan from the beginning was to eventually move to this uh, much larger map, um, but I've uh, come to a point where I've decided I, I while I like the idea of having a, a much larger map and uh, the idea of exploring it and figuring out things, I feel like over time that's going to get uh, boring and replayability is something that I want to be a big part of Shadowwood. So uh, what I've decided is actually to uh, start working on a random map generation. So that is basically where I uh, picked up since the last devlog. I started working on the map generation in 2D to make things a little bit simpler. And it's basically broken into two components. One is the borders and the other is the ground. So to start with the borders, you can see here I have basically five tiles that uh, can be arranged. And the map generator starts by putting in one tile and then based on the openings of that tile it will generate tiles adjacent to that tile and then uh, tiles from the child tiles and so on and so forth until it reaches an end. So the second aspect of the tile system is the ground level. There's basically two different heights that the ground can be at. You can see here I've got six different kinds of tiles. Uh, the green is basically zero, and then the brown would be a level higher than that. Uh, so the idea is that you would need to climb to get to the higher ground if you're at the lower ground, and that's going to create some barriers that you can uh, get over um, to add some variety to the levels. Uh, but so I put these these tiles in in the map builder here, and the only problem is that uh, is making sure that they kind of line up in a way that makes sense. So originally I put them in, and they uh, you know there's it's kind of chaos. So I wanted to kind of organize it a little bit, and uh, so so I made it look at its parent neighbor um, to. So the tile that spawned the next tile in, uh, those two were looking at each other and you can see it's a, a much more organized um, layout there. So the different ground levels kind of lead into each other. Uh, it's still not perfect because what I would like to have is where um, any height change uh, happens within a tile and not at the border of a tile. Uh, so that I can uh, ahead of time know that there is uh, there needs to be a way to get from one uh, point to the other and so if all the height changes happen within a tile then I can control that without knowing what tiles are next to each other when the game actually is running. And the solution to that is obviously just rather than looking exclusively at the parent tile to look at all, if, if there are surrounding tiles, 
to look at those and ensure that uh, your tile matches up with all its neighbors. Um, and you can see here that every tile matches its neighbor. Uh, the only downside to this is it create, creates or has a high probability of creating kind of the X tiles. And I don't really, I, the X tiles are necessary, but I don't want them to be quite so common. So um, I added a little uh, manipulation to if, if it randomly decides to create an X tile that it will relook at itself again and try to randomly generate again and if it if it requires an X tile then it will use an X tile but it's it's reduces the chance of the X tile and then it was time to move on to the 3D version of the tile system and you can see here I got that working after a little bit the only problem I ran into was that the rotation of the tiles was reversed from the 2D version for some reason and it took me a little while to figure out what the problem was because nothing was matching up properly um, but uh, once I got that figured out uh, it worked just fine uh, the only real question is what size do I want the tiles to be and you can see here I've got the the tiles currently about the same size as the uh, test build map which I'm not sure if that's too big or, or not um, I'm not gonna actually go ahead and, and make any real tiles at this point until I feel like I have the, the right size so I'm gonna start with this size and then if that feels like that's too big I'll shrink down a little bit and play around with that and see see how that feels. With there being multiple ground heights, obviously we need a way to get from point A to point B. So the solution to that is going to be the grappling hook. So that's a new item that I have added into the game and you'll be able to walk up to a cliff and then swing your grappling hook around and hook into the cliff. The climbing functionality should be all done here. You can see our character here can walk up to the rope and then ascend it and also descend it as well. Uh, the functionality for actually swinging your grappling hook and attaching it is basically the thing that I need to work on next. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much where we are at at this point. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this interesting. Again, if you like this format better, uh, it's not too different I suspect for you guys but uh, let me know in the comments and I'd appreciate if you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and you can follow me on Twitter the link is in the description but uh, we will see you guys next week